It's your boy EB. You're watching EB Family ENT. And if you like what you see, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. So you could become part of EB but, but Family. This request to you, Paul. Just because. <laughs> Just because you're the one that showed me this band. So I'm giving this request to you. So thank you, Paul, for showing me Hollow Scene. Thank you, EB. For picking broken, <laughs> it was kind of a joint uh, pick, I guess you would say, for everyone that's going to watch this as a reaction. Just, it was a wild night, all right? It was a wild effing night, so this is why I'm starting my recording off the way I am. But we're getting into Broken, yes, by Amy Lee. Yes, by C Caesar, but not by Amy Lee and not by Caesar, because this is a cover by Jonathan Young, which I don't know who that is, but I do know Holocene because I was just showed Holocene the other day, and I became a fan after one song. So she, like, amazed me. So I got to hear this. So without further ado, y'all, let's get it. And let's go. Let's make sure everything works today. Look at that, yo. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Already with the piano? What is going on with the piano? Is that, wait, is that a piano? It sounds like a piano. That couldn't have been the guitar. Someone's playing the piano. It had to have been. What? Oh, shit. Sorry, you guys. Hold on. That was my fault. That is my mistake, y'all. See what I'm talking about? I'm so glad I caught that, though. I'm so glad I caught that. My bad, y'all. That was my mistake. Let's start. But that's what I was talking about. Is that that's got to be a piano? That cannot be the guitar doing that, right? Because that sounds like a piano. But I don't see a piano in the video. But it sounds like an amazing piano. <laughs> yeah, that worked good, y'all. And it's boy right on that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. First off, you guys know how I feel about Amy Lee, okay? But then when I was shown Halo scene or Halo scene for the first time, I was like truly amazed by her voice and all the different things she could do. And now I'm I'm like so I'm paying very close attention. To this specifically because this is my fave one of my favorite songs. My favorite one is My Immortal, but this is my second favorite song and my most played song by Amy Lee as of like what I've gone through her her catalog. 
this is the, the number two for me. It's literally my alarm. So I didn't know what to expect right there. But the way that she came in with the softness and then I, I wasn't looking at the video, which I should have been. Um, but luckily I caught it at the last second. I've seen her face and she looks so serious. I mean, he does too, but she is like playing this off perfectly. Like you, you can literally feel the emotion of the song right by looking at her eyes just in that matter of two seconds. How, like she's very talented. She is super talented. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Hold on, you guys. I gotta hear that. I know, because Amy Lee kills that. Like the, when you heard his voice come in and it was like, way but I can hear it very clear in these headphones. This was dope. I look, I'm so glad we picked this one to do right after that rest of the day. This was awesome. I didn't want to pause it, y'all. I had like, I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but I, I had like everything about this song spot on to even like when the when the voice is going to get higher, like I've not heard Halloween or Jonathan sing this. 
but I just was imagining Amy Lee saying this. Um, or like not imagining her saying it. I was, I had that in my mind, right? And I was going off of that. But like she did incredible. And then I thought it was good. I thought she was overpowering the song at first, not overpowering it in a negative way. I thought like she had all the attention. And I thought Jonathan wasn't really bringing too much to it at the very beginning, okay? Like, that's just my bias um, immediately because I know her. I don't know him yet. And then he just effing came in here and he, you needed him on here because their contrast, the way that they went back and forth on this was perfect. It was spot on. Except Amy Lee at this last part that I'm going to go back on that last part right there. Amy Lee, like, did something with her voice where she said, because I'm broken! And I forgot exactly what part, but I'll hear it when it comes up, and I'll tell you guys that's the part. Um, Holocene didn't hit that one spot on, but she did it almost as close as she could. But, I mean, with Amy Lee, that's very hard to get. Dude, this is one part I'm thinking about. I think it's right here, honestly. And shout out to the guitarist and the drummer, by the way. I've seen what you said, too, about the, yeah, Paul said, guy on guitar, Brad is her husband. That was the, oh, 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 I read that wrong at first. You said the guy on the guitar, Brad, her husband, that was their old drummer. Okay, so he was the old drummer, so... So he could do both? He could play the guitar and drum? Which I assume a lot of musicians can do that, right? Or is that... I don't know, though. Like, Paulina can do it from the warning. Uh, he can do it. But is that a common thing? Because I would think it'd be, it wouldn't be common to be able to play the drums and play the guitar. But I could just be me <laughs> and not... You know, me, I'm trying to just get the drums down and it's taking forever to get that. Even though we did get a great comment, which I want to talk about a little bit later. Um, but to get back to this, that was awesome. That was just, I'm glad we picked this one. I'm glad I heard this version. I honestly think, so I think Amy Lee sung it better, or sung it best, I should say. Uh at a select few parts, but I feel like she brought so much to it, and it was, like, unique in her way, which was great, but I feel like between Caesar, or, yeah, Caesar and Jonathan, I feel like Jonathan's part was better than Caesar's part, the way it was sounding, especially with that low part at the end, and then a little bit towards the end, when their contrast back and forth was incredible. I honestly think he did better than Caesar, but I think that I think that she was unique and held her own and was did amazing singing. But I just think there was like one or two parts where Amy Lee, uh, there was like just a few notes where Amy Lee like hit those spot the hell on that it's basically impossible to touch that. But yeah, so what did happen? What? Why did they have a new drummer? But thank you for that one, Evie. Thank you for that one, Paul. I appreciate that. That was that got me back in my my right mindset, I think, compared to the stream earlier. So thank you.